What's going on YouTube? No, imagine I had my intros like that. So today we're going to a place where no man, or should I say no YouTuber has gone to before. That's right, we are going to be looking at every single YouTuber product. And this is gonna be a completely unbiased review. I am not friends with any YouTubers. I think all of them are honestly pretty garbage. We are going to start with this one right here. All right. So the very first item we have here is Dixie and Charlie's eight inch color LED ring light. So this is a, uh, I always wanted this. This is something that I put on my Christmas list for the past 10 years. I think they're like 16, so that wouldn't make sense, but you know what I mean? And we're gonna look at this thing and see if it could help us. Maybe I could use it today. So it's a ring light. It has a table stand and everything. All right, so I mean, it's definitely made in China. Yes, made in China. Fairly low quality, but I'm assuming it's gonna do the job. So. I mean, it's fairly easy to assemble. It doesn't stand super well. I mean, I got it to stand, but kind of difficult. What's weird about this is that it doesn't come with an AV adapter. So it looks like I have to plug it in to like a USB port, which makes no sense. You'd think that you just want to kind of plug this into the wall and then forget it, but it looks like I can't do that. I'm kind of restricted because I'm at a desk here. I don't have the mobility. I thought I was going to have more mobility when I put this on. Now I can't even get to my desk because there's a... I'm just going to do this. Hello there. Stay up, please stay up. There we go. Okay, well, put it right into here. Okay, so now I'm gonna see if it turns on. Oh, it even has RGB functionality, which you can't see because there's other lights. I would say it's not worth it. This is definitely not worth it. This is a piece of junk. It doesn't even work most of the time when you try to stand it up. Like, look at this. So all in all, I would have to give the Dixie and Charlie eight inch color LED ring light probably a three and a half out of 10 because it technically can light up your room, but it's really low quality and you have to hook it up to your computer. Like what? All right, let's see, next up. Ugh. Ah. David's perfume. So this is David Dobrik's perfume. I must say for my initial scope, the boxing is very nice. Now this was pretty cheap. I believe it was $25. The price will be somewhere here. This is his first perfume ever. I got it off of eBay. I think it's sold out. Amber and cashmere. Okay, 20 fluid ounces. So quite a general serving. Unboxing. Okay, so it looks like some Givenchy, some Balenciaga. I could, you, you won't be able to see this, but from my first glance, I see some particles floating through it. I don't know if that's normal for perfume. I'm supposed to shake it up, is that bad? All right, here we go, DD. So shout out to Dunkin' Donuts, shout out to Donkey Kong, even though Donkey Kong's not DD. Ooh. Uh, it's not for me. I'm gonna be honest, this, this is not for me. It's not bad. The smell of it feels like the fall. It feels like safe, but also, it also just feels like gasoline is on my arm. I don't know what to think of that. I mean, I guess for $23, some people might like it. I do like that it's like a magnetic thing. Look at that. Pretty cool. I would say David's perfume number one, Amber and Cashmere would be a pass. I don't know, it's either like a seven or a two. So maybe we split the difference and we call it a four and a half. That's what I would give David's perfume. I do like the presentation though, but you know, at the end of the day, the product's the product. All right, moving on, what do we have here? We got a Nerf Frisbee and it's dude perfect Brandon. So Dude Perfect came out with a Nerf collab and it's an easy grip. Wow, hold on. From initial squeeze, this saucer, this bad boy, it feels pretty comfortable to the hand. You know, like if you're just, I'll throw it against this pad, all right? Cause this pad is, it's a pillow board for my bedroom that I don't know how to put up. So it's right here. Not bad, let me. All right, so far, Dude Perfect, I think this is the best item to date. I mean, it's in line with what they do, so you'd expect them. They're collabing with Nerf, so it's kind of a cheat code, but it feels pretty sturdy. This is like a solid Frisbee. It's not one of those hard Frisbees where like you get hit and then all of a sudden you're knocked out for three weeks. It's one of those Frisbees that you could play with like a dog, right? You're just like, go, go, go. And then that's it. It's a very basic thing. It's a Frisbee. And I think it was maybe a little bit overpriced because you have like the Dude Perfect logo up top. But I have to say overall, this is not, not bad. I would have to say Dude Perfect Frisbee. 
6.9 out of 10. All right, moving on. I've clearly left my seat at this point. There's no use for me sitting down because I'm way too hyped about all my YouTuber merch. Oh my gosh, I love my YouTuber merch. All right, I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. So this is uh, an Ender Toy action figure of Carl Jacobs on the Mr. Beast crew team. I've actually met Carl Jacobs before at some like 100 Thieves event and he was a nice person. And so I feel compelled to rate this somewhat nicely because he was nice. If you look at what this is, if you guys are unfamiliar with this niche game called Minecraft, I think this is like his Minecraft character. And it also comes with two swords. I think they're called swords. And I guess if he stands up, then this thing's a killer. Just tore his leg off. If he stands up, this is a great thing. If he doesn't stand up, ah, uh, come on. Stand, I want it to be good. I, I like you, Carl. It stands up. So what I'll say is it's a decent figurine. If you're into the Minecraft community and you like the Dream SMP, or maybe you're a big Mr. Beast guy, you might want to pick up this Carl Jacobs, uh, what is it called? Ender toy, which is, I, I don't know, Ender dragon, is that? That's something. 7.1 out of 10. It's only not an eight because I don't like Minecraft. All right, this next puppy right here. We got kind of a big one. All right, so this is one of the instances where we have a package within a package and this is quite heavy. I'm gonna take a seat so I don't throw out my back here. Oh, what do you know? We got Mr. Beast Crunch Bar, Mr. Beast D's Nuts, Mr. Beast Milk Chocolate. We have the Feastables collection of every single conceivable Mr. Beast chocolate item. Wow, there's a lot. We even got the original chocolate. Oh my gosh, how much money did I spend on this? And I think there's one more. There is chocolate sea salt. So I believe these are the five Mr. Beast flavors. Wait, no, I lied. There are six. It's a shame because I was at 7-Eleven and I just purchased these because I was like, you know what? I don't think that I'm going to be able to find these bad boys. And guess what? I found these bad boys. So now I just have a surplus of Mr. Beast bars. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try each and every one because just like a true reviewer, I have to truly taste each chocolate so that I know if it's good or not. First up is the quinoa chocolate crunch. Uh, I don't know if this is normal. It's very discolored. Yeah, that's the color. It looks gray. Okay, I mean, you know, I'm gonna try it. If I get sick, then whatever. I'm not a very big dark chocolate guy, and this seems to be dark chocolate. I also don't love quinoa. So as you can imagine, I don't love this bar. This bar tastes extremely bitter to me, but again, it could be a function of me just not liking dark chocolate. So this bar for me is a one because I would never eat this under any circumstance. Next up, milk chocolate. I'm a big milk chocolate lover. This one has a decent color to it, so I like that. Milk chocolate is better. The more I chew on it, the more I regret it because, and I love Mr. Beast, I just genuinely believe that a Hershey bar, a Cadbury bar, a Toblerone, the quality of the chocolate is much higher with those. This almost feels like those chocolates when you go to a car dealership and they're handing out favors. They're like, oh, here's this, here's that, here's some snacks, here's our Audi colored pen, here's our Toyota flavored chocolate. This is Toyota flavored chocolate to me. Maybe I'll be surprised with original chocolate. Oh, by the way, milk chocolate, I'd give like five out of 10 maybe a four and a half, but I'm a sucker for milk chocolate. So I think that's even skewing it a bit up. Plus I like Mr. Beast, so that might be why. Time for original chocolate. If I didn't like the quinoa one, I doubt I like this. Better than the quinoa one, I would say better than the milk chocolate one. Not for me, but like I appreciate that it's better. So I think the original chocolate Mr. Beast bar, I'm gonna go pretty high here, six out of 10. All right, I've been waiting to try this one for the longest time, D's Nuts. That is going to be um, Mr. Beast's Reese's rival, I, I guess. So let's see if this is good or not. I wanna get a nice bite with uh, peanut butter in it. Okay, I got, what am I tasting here? It tastes like sunflower seeds and the peanut butter doesn't really come out at you like a Reese's does. So, I mean, as far as chocolate goes, like I would avoid this. I would never eat this. The D's nuts, I was actually, my hopes were high and I ended up not really liking it. So this is a 3.75 out of 10. Next up is chocolate sea salt. Oh, I'm getting feastables out right now. Okay, it looks normal again. You definitely taste the sea salt. They're not lying. Again, like there comes a point with the Mr. Beast bars where you're just eating them and it's just like, okay, when am I gonna start enjoying this? Sea salt, I'd give like a three out of 10. But let's go on to crunch. I really do like a good crunch. I don't know what crunch is. Puffed rice, okay. 
Something's just missing in these bars. It's missing the love. I need like Milton Hershey formula for 90 years, all the preservatives. Here's my take. If you're eating chocolate, don't try to be healthy. Like if you're making a chocolate bar and your big thing is like, oh, healthy chocolate, it's probably not gonna taste good because chocolate inherently is a very high sugar, high fat type item. Why are we trying to make this healthy, flexing that there's only five ingredients? If I'm eating a chocolate bar, I know that I'm a fat piece of shit, okay? I don't need to be like eating healthy chocolate. It doesn't make sense to me. Mr. Beast bars overall, three point. 0.75 out of 10. We are moving on to Carl's Gummies. So Carl's Gummies is part of Feastables. This is their sour candy. So this is like competing with, I guess, like Sour Patch Kids and all those guys. Let's see it. All right, so they don't look very appetizing. They actually look disgusting, but I'm a big sucker for sour things. Okay, now these are good. Carl's Gummies actually taste good. They taste like a softer Sour Patch Kid, right? They taste like a Sour Punch straw. Not as good, but they're fine. I would say Carl's Gummies, 7.6 out of 10. I think that's the best item to date, right? Out of everything we've done so far, I think Carl's Gummies reign supreme as the number one thing that I put into my mouth. Here we have, I don't know what this is. <laughs> All right, there is a YouTuber named Jeff Wittick and he has a show called Jeff's Barber Shop. And Jeff's Barber Shop is basically what it sounds like. He used to be a barber and so he made this pomade for your hair, which is what this is right here. And so you take this pomade, I guess we're about to go crazy here, and you put it into your hair. This is gonna ruin my hair for the day. So it looks like a nice, like, I don't even know what that looks like. That looks like, it looks like something. You know what I'm talking about. So it, it's supposed to form your hair, so right? Put a little pomade, put a little. Oh, this is just sticky as, oh my God, this is so sticky. Wait, what is the, oh, okay. Rubbing hands rake through hair. Okay, so we're, the goal of this is, let's just get some nice sticking, some good old sticking. So this is it, this is what it does. I don't know if I'm supposed to brush it down. I could go up, I suppose, but I don't know. My hair, I feel like is better down. That's what it is. This, I mean, this was the worst thing I might have used so far. I know I used it wrong. I'm positive about that. I probably used too much. I probably shouldn't have put it into my hair. I think Jeff as a barber is a good barber, but I don't know if this is the best product. I feel so gross, right? You don't even understand what's in my hair. My hair is just hard. It's just hard like a rock. So much that I have to even wash my hands. So I will be right back. All right, get your laughs out. I'm going to be like this for the remainder of the video and there's nothing that anybody can do about it. All right, so I also got this. This isn't YouTuber merch, but YouTube sent me my 100,000 subscriber plaque again. I got this like four years ago or however long ago and they just sent me another one. So maybe I'll put it on the wall. I wish they sent me the million one because then gold, I feel like contrasts better with this wall, you know, on some like interior designer stuff. We got a big guy right here. Big guy alert. Oh, look what it's time for. Everybody's favorite. YouTuber merch, Prime. Not just Prime, every flavor to ever exist of Prime. I'm sure there's more, this is what I could get my hands on. I'm going to try every single one and let you know what I think about it. So we're gonna start off with Blue Raspberry Prime made by Logan Paul and KSI. It feels a little sweet. It definitely feels a little medicine-y. If you know what I mean? I know a lot of people hate on Prime, me included. I don't think it's like the best thing for you. It shouldn't be marketed as a hydration drink. It has, I think, a terrible balance of ingredients. There there have been a ton of breakdowns by a guy named More Plates, More Dates. But I think this one taste-wise tastes fine. It's like a 4.8 out of 10. Next up we have Pink, which is strawberry watermelon. So let's see. Okay, that's basically the same exact thing. When I drink this, I feel like, I don't know how I feel after drinking this. I feel like violated. So I'm gonna give this a three out of 10. Next up we have Tropical Punch Prime. I already know I'm not gonna love this. Okay, you know what? This tastes like high C, is that what it's called? What's that fruit punch? Yeah, high C. High C, I'd give, let's say, in terms of fruit punch, like a 6.5 out of 10. This is almost there. This is the best yet. So I'd give this like a five out of 10. It's not good, but it's not bad. Next up, we have Meta Moon Prime. Meta Moon, okay. I don't know what this is gonna taste like. What does the moon taste like? Cheese. Okay, it's fun. I like what they're doing. I think it might be like lemony, maybe a little bit of lemon. Let me try to crunch the ingredients here, see what I could find. All right, that is a lot of ingredients. I don't know what I'm drinking. This is whatever. I mean, Meta Moon is like a 4.6. Now we have orange. Orange might be my least favorite flavor out there. Okay, that is a two out of 10. Now we have Lemon Lime Prime. I'm feeling good about this. I do like me a good lemon lime drink. 
Okay, best one yet. It's drinkable. I think lemon lime prime, I like the rhyming there. I'd give a 6.3 out of 10. And then finally, last but not least, we have Ice Pop. I do like the bottling on this, the red, white, and blue. I think their marketing is incredible. Like Prime is such a great name. There's a reason why Amazon used it as well. They have really simple, sleek bottles, which I think is really cool. You know what you're drinking as soon as you hold it. So let's try Ice Pop. Hopefully this blows me away. It's good. Ice Pop Prime, if this was really cold, dare I put it in the sevens? I think I'd give this like a 7.5 out of 10. Ice Pop Prime. Moving on into this box right here from our friends at Amazon, where basically all of these are from. And we have a lot, oh, they packaged some things together, okay. All right, so we're gonna start with Spark, which is a card game created by Seek Discomfort. If you don't know what Seek Discomfort is, it is Yes Theory's brand. So Yes Theory is a YouTube channel and their whole philosophy is like, say yes, let's do anything, let's be wild, let's be crazy, let's put ourselves in uncomfortable situations. And they made a card game, I believe, and we're gonna check out what's included in it. I'm gonna answer just a couple questions. Here are the cards and what they look like. What is one lesson our conversation taught you about yourself? What's one goal you have for this year? How can I help? hold you accountable. Wow, these are very deep. So I'm guessing he plays with like a friend or a significant other or somebody that you wanna get closer with and you ask them some of these questions. There's a lot of them too. It's just like a bunch of cards. I think there's a lot of value to this game. I mean, these games are generally like, to me, a little bit cheesy because you could just find these on the internet. There's no need to spend, I think like $25 or something to get these questions in front of you, but it does serve a pretty good purpose. You could have some fun with friends. I do like Yes Theory as a channel and it's well done. Like there's a lot of cards. You're not gonna run out of content. So I actually think this is on the better side. Maybe if they're a little little bit cheaper. So I think I'm gonna have to give these maybe like a 7.8 out of 10. All right, we have another Dude Perfect slash Nerf collab. To be honest, I was originally just gonna get the Frisbee. I saw this, that they had collabed with them as well. And I figured this would be a good room to have a basketball hoop. So let's look at it. All right, so a big thing for me is it needs to be easy to hook up. Of course, as I say that, I run into all these issues with putting it on. I'm onto something. Okay, I think I'm cooking. All right. Oh, look at that. So I could keep that up right here. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna try and do some tricks here. Okay, that was tiring. Another package here. What is gonna be in here? Aha! So in here we have Emma Chamberlain's Chamberlain Coffee. So I got the variety box here and I also got this matcha, which I don't know which one I should try. I think what I'm gonna do is try one of these. So what's cool about this is that it's instant coffee. And so instant coffee, this is like a tea bag. So you literally put the tea bag in the tea and it's coffee, which I think is crazy because I'm not a coffee drinker. I only drink tea. And so I didn't want to buy any coffee. And so I bought these tea bags because apparently they make it taste like coffee. All right, so my cup of coffee is here. I don't know if I can do this, can I take it out? But it's like a massive tea bag and it's just dripping coffee. And there's like a ton of coffee grinds inside. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a coffee drinker, but if you've seen this before, let me know. But I think this is pretty ingenious but let's see how it tastes. And for the record, I haven't tasted coffee in probably 15 years. Maybe that was the last time I put coffee in my mouth, so let's see. Yeah, like I don't like coffee, but I could see somebody enjoying this. I think this is definitely like quality wise, the best YouTuber product that I've had today. Like I said, I'm not a coffee drinker, so take it with a grain of salt, but I'd give this like an 8.7 out of 10. All right, and then we got this big boy package right here. Hello. And in here, we have a lot. Starting off with Mr. Beast cookies. We had Mr. Beast chocolate bars. We had Mr. Beast gummies. And now we have Mr. Beast cookies. Feastables cookies. I'm a big cookie fan. I hope I'm not let down by this. Ooh, they're soft. They're like uh, the chewy cookies. They look disgusting, but sometimes looks can be deceiving. Okay, they taste like Play-Doh at first, but then they end up tasting pretty good. They're plant-based and gluten-free. Maybe that's why they have a funky taste. I think these cookies, I'd give like a, a 5.3 out of 10. I would not buy them again, but they're fine. If somebody served me that, I wouldn't be like, whoa, that's disgusting. I would just be like, okay, like I'm obviously not gonna fill up here. I'm probably gonna get Taco Bell on the way home. That would be my mindset for that. All right. Back to Prime, although this time we have 
every single energy drink that Prime has ever created. So look no further than the Sambucha channel for a full review of all of your YouTuber products. So first up, we have Prime Strawberry Watermelon. I've actually had this in the past. I had to scrap it from one of my videos because I was told that I have to be nice to a certain brand. But let's see what this tastes like. All right, so I've never had an energy drink before. I think it's pretty good as far as energy drinks go. It tastes like what I'd imagine a Red Bull would taste like, just acid down your throat. But it has a nice little strawberry watermelon flavor to it. And for that reason, in terms of energy drinks, I'd say it's like a seven out of 10. Next up, we have lemon lime. We had the hydration version of it already. It tastes like Sprite. Lemon Lime Prime Energy, since it has that carbonation, it tastes like Sprite. I have to say, so far, Prime Energy is much better than Prime Hydration. This is terrible. This is not terrible. This is edible. This is inedible. 7.6 out of 10, because I like Sprite, and this is pretty close to Sprite. Now we have Tropical Punch. Okay, that's not the best. That's definitely back into the fives now. Here we have Orange Mango. Orange Mango, is that a good pairing? I like it, they were bold. They tried to mix two pairings together, an orange and a mango. I've never seen that before. I think it pays off. If they just did mango, I think that'd be a bit better, but it's really not bad. I think orange mango prime, I'd have to give like a 6.8. Pleasantly surprised so far. And then lastly, we have blue raspberry. It tastes like an icy, very sweet, definitely the worst flavor. So I'd give this like a 4.8, but I can see somebody keep thinking this is like a seven or an eight. That's prime hydration, all pretty solid. Not gonna lie, like besides the blue, but in general, these were pretty solid. So I'm kind of happy with this. Over here and we have, and this box is absolutely destroyed. But Addison Ray made a doll, a Barbie. And Addison Ray's Barbie is, I guess it, I mean, it kind of looks like her. But let's look at it a bit closer. A couple things to note is, is it comes with accessories like an iPhone, a microphone, and then one of these ring lights, which is very similar to the Charlie and Dixie ring light that we opened earlier. All right, so I finally freed her from the shackles. This is your Addison Rae doll. She doesn't stand up, which is kind of disappointing. She looks a little goofy if you look up close. Like if you look at her face, a little goofy. It comes with all your favorite content creator accessories. So like I said, you have a ring light here in which Addison Rae can take her. You have a camera because of course that is important if you're an influencer the first thing you must have is a camera so you could capture yourself she has a phone because she has to check her social media because that's important and then lastly she has a microphone because Addison Ray actually dabbled in music and there she is holding a microphone Addison Ray doll I'll give you a hug a little hug right there I'd give this a solid 7.3 out of 10 you didn't expect that did you I just think it's a pretty fun concept to just create a doll of yourself it's like the it's like peak hedonism and you're just like like lean into it. Like, what's my merch? Me, here you go. I think that's funny, so I like that. All right, we got two more items. This is Pizzafy, which is Arak's merch. Arak, popular YouTuber, and he loves pizza. I think he has the record for like the world's largest pizza, and he created a sauce called Pizzafy, in which you can make anything taste like pizza. So we're gonna do something disgusting, because given our limited resources here, and we are going to Pizzafy, a Mr. Beast cookie. So first I'm gonna just try this sauce raw. You know what? It's not bad. It tastes exactly like pizza. It tastes like a, a pizza bagel. But now what it claims is turn anything into pizza. I don't know how much trust I should put into Arak for creating this new age chemically altering pizza sauce, but we're gonna try it. So here's a Mr. Beast cookie and here's pizza fi sauce. And let's see if it tastes like pizza. So I know what these cookies taste like. So now let's see if they taste like pizza. Oh, that was the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. And there have been a lot of bad things in there. I wish I didn't try the pizza sauce on the cookies because now I, it just ruined this pizza sauce for me. I could never use this again. My first impression of this was that the pizza sauce was solid. I'd give it maybe like a six out of 10. This pizza sauce has quickly become the worst thing of all time because it did not pizzify that cookie. And for that reason, I have to give the pizza sauce a one out of 10. The worst thing so far because I'm on the verge of vomiting. It's so bad that I'm going to wash it down with prime. Oh, what do I do? Emma Chamberlain's coffee, quick. Oh, it's so strong. Oh my gosh, what do I do? I need something. Back to Logan Paul. Okay, that did it, that did it. Whew. And last but not least, we have Babiche. 
who created a knife. So this is a kitchen knife that Babish, he's a Turkish YouTuber, I believe. I always find it funny that boxes containing sharp objects are hard to open because how do you expect me to open this hard product? I don't have a sharp object because it's inside. You know what I'm talking about? All right, so the packaging is cool here. So there's Babish. He's a, a nice dude. He looks very chill. There's the knife. And let's actually see what the knife looks like. Okay, so the knife comes, it's, it's very safe because it has a covering on it. So you pull the knife out. All right, so it's pretty sharp. The knife is actually pretty sharp. Just kidding. Uh, but we're going to put it to a test because I am going to attempt to cut a cookie because that is the only thing. Actually, I'm gonna cut a Mr. Beast bar. God knows I'm not eating this again. Seamless. It's pleasant to hold too, and it was only $25, but I would have to give this knife off the first rip, like a 9.2 out of 10, making the winner of YouTuber merch, Babish, with the knife that I believe to be one of the better knives that I've ever used. And I'm, I'm gonna keep this in my kitchen and I'm probably gonna cook up some good meals and maybe it's time I stop waving this knife at you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see more content, make sure to click here, click here. Otherwise, subscribe on your way out and I will see you next time. So peace.